solo performance, the seasoned artist accepting complete responsibility for the creative process and the quality of the result. And leading Kathak dance exponent Sri Manesh Maharaj treats his art as an act of devotion. As the audience, we witness only the performance and rarely have the opportunity to see exactly what the preparation entails. So spending time with Manesh during rehearsals was a rare privilege, which you're about to share. The Sri Virabhoga and Perumal Temple in Tongat is a work of art in itself, but it is also a place where performers of Indian classical arts can express their devotion. One of them is renowned Kathakar, Sri Manesh Maharaj, for whom, as he puts it, dance remains his ultimate prayer. Manesh, namaste. Namaste, Zakia. Manesh, how do you prepare not only the body but the spirit for performance? Zakia, most of my performances are solo based and most of my performances are thematic. So they have been inspired by real life experiences, either negative or positive. So what happens is through these experiences, I decide to put up something and express them artistically on stage. What is the symbolism of the sacred prayer Kathak dancers do before they perform and rehearse? This ritual is actually known as the Bhumi Pranam or Namaskar. Bhumi means Mother Earth and Namaskar means to prostrate. So as dancers, all of us do believe that Mother Earth is really burdened, especially with this day and age. So before dancing on her, stamping on her, we take an apology from her and we also take her blessings. And we also welcome the audience who's come to watch us because they have taken time off to spend time with us, allowing us to take them on a spiritual journey of enlightenment and that we prostrate to the heavens, to the gods. When we bring it to our head here, we prostrate to our seniors which would be our parents, our gurus, our grandparents. And when we bring it to our chest, we are actually offering our namaskars and prostrations to our colleagues. Manish, where did your journey with dance begin? From a very young age, my journey started with music. And it came a point in my journey where my guru from South Africa said, if you need to further your studies in music, you would have to go to India. And when I went to India, I just felt I entered a whole new world. And I remember attending a music performance and my guru was performing a Kathak recital before that. And when I watched her, I think this dancing bug bit me. So I approached my Guruji and requested that I learn from her. And she said, you've left your home, your family at such a young age. And she said, you are my responsibility now. She really, really brought me under her wing and that was like a protective shield that formed around me and that really helped me settle in a country that was, although it's the motherland, but it was very foreign and strange to me. There is a wonderful element of performance and acting in Kathak. Kathak is derived from the word Katha, which means a story. The body language plays an important role in storytelling. We have to use the facial expressions, which is known as abhine, and a student has to study the different parts of the face, the eyes, the lips, how we use them in different degrees to emote a certain expression. And the codified hand gestures that we have, we have pataka, tripataka, aradha pataka, kartari mukha, mayura. So if we take this first hand gesture, pataka, one of the uses is a mirror. And tripataka, the ring finger which is bent, is used to apply a, a dot, see? So with just the first five mudras, we'll be able to create a little story. Manesh, what tools do you need as a dancer? There's this word riyaz. It's an Urdu word which literally means devoted daily practice. Art means nothing if you cannot devote time to your practice. So devotion is very important and discipline riyaz. I could easily say I danced for an hour, but actually I was not productive. Your dance space is a sacred space. This would mean not to bring any kind of stress that you must be experiencing or negative energy that you've experienced in the day. Leave it outside and bring a clean canvas into that space. You ask forgiveness from Mother Earth for slapping the ground. How do you develop this ability? Zakia, it's very important for you to know exactly how you have to manipulate the foot to create the sound against the ground. So you literally grab the ground with your feet, spread out the toes, and try and flatten the underneath of your feet. Okay. Thereafter, you lift the foot up and stamp against the ground. It's not about how hard you stamp it, actually how you manipulate the foot. But that is incredibly sore. Initially, that's gonna happen. You're gonna feel the, the soreness, especially on the heels. Can we sit down? Yes, please, let's do that. Manesh, in Kathak, do you have any boundaries? Yes, there are some boundaries. First of all, as a Kathakar, I am a firm believer of the classical and the tradition. 
But at the same time, I do love contemporary dance and I've worked with the Flatfoot Dance Company and they specialize in African contemporary, which I found really, really beautiful. You've worked with Bharatanatyam dancer Varushka Patha for years now. How have you combined your skills? Varushka ji and I actually use the languages of Bharatanatyam and Kathak and bring them together. And what's happened over the many years that we've been working together, we've created a unique bond. And when it comes to our ideas and thoughts and sensitivities about dance, we are on the same page. And that makes it very easy for us to communicate. Zakia, we are actually working on something together. Very special collaboration. Would you like to take a sneak peek? I would be absolutely honored. Sure. I can never take my eyes off the two of you. Thank you, Zakia. Thank you, Zakia. And you also look absolutely spectacular. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Manesh, this is not your traditional Kathak outfit, but more of a fashion statement. Can you tell us about the design? I am so proud of my dear friend, Burushka Ji, for expressing herself in this most creative way of clothes design. And it felt great wearing this jacket with my kurta, so I might just include it in my next solo recital. Varushka, with your permission. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and finally, Manesh, what words of wisdom do you have for the creatives out there? Upcoming dancers need to realize the purpose of dance, which is ultimately to give the audience an experience, take them on an enlightened journey, and ultimately elevate and heal them. And if you keep this in focus, I would say my advice to you would be to heal as many people as you can.